I will say good morning. We're in, it's 8.30 in the morning in Seattle, Washington, where we are launching this symposium from. I know there are people from all over the world. So um, welcome, happy Saturday. This is our the 14th annual Loeb Family Symposium, and we're thrilled to present this topic about listening effort and listening related fatigue in youth who are deaf and hard of hearing. The Loeb Family Symposium has been a long tradition in Seattle and it is funded by the Loeb Family who has generously supported the efforts of our Childhood Communication Center. And we started this symposium really to provide high level information to families and um, patients who are deaf and hard of hearing, deaf or hard of hearing. And we realized that our families really benefit from high level information. So we've invited people who've done the research, really creating the evidence for, for the topics that we choose. And, uh, and so because we've provided such high level information, it's become a center point for our professional communities as well. So we're happy to present this topic and, and have Dr. Sam Gustafson present. And I'll invite her, I'll introduce her in a little bit. Next slide, please. First, we'll go through some of the background information. We always start with a, a land acknowledgement or acknowledgement at Seattle Children's, and we acknowledge that in Seattle, we're on the traditional unceded land of the Coast Salish people, including the Duwamish people, past and present. We honor with gratitude the land itself and the Duwamish tribe. This acknowledgement does not take the place of authentic relationships with indigenous communities, but serves as one way to honor the land that we are on. We also acknowledge that this country would not exist or prosper if it weren't for the free enslaved labor of black people. We honor the legacy of the African diaspora and black life, knowledge, and skills stolen due to violence and systemic oppression. With that, we'll move on to the next slide. So just some housekeeping things. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the, the group who helps plan this. And Lisa Herber is really the force behind all of this. Um, thank you, Lisa. Janet Donnell is on the committee where we work out the details and, and decide the topic and who to invite. Um, Linnea is helping us with all of the um, technical and AV issues. We apologize to anybody who's had, who had difficulties getting in, but we hope that everyone will find their way here. Um, so the link to the to the slide handouts are in your reminder email. And uh, if you're interested in captioning, if you look at the lower left hand corner of your um, your zoom or your um, your panel, um, there's a small CC with an arrow. And so you can hit the little carrot and get captioning. My captioning just says English, but there may be other languages on your um, closed captioning. Um, there will be dedicated time for questions after Dr. Gustafson's, Gustafson's talk. Um, it will be, we will accept questions through Slido. So um, you'll be given a QR code to scan when the Q&A begins. Thank you. So as far as the overview, um, we will be hearing talks from Dr. Gustafson with the Q&A um, session afterwards. We'll have a break and then we'll have some panels. We have an adult panel and a youth panel uh, or young adult panel, sorry. And um, these have been, when we have done in-person sessions, have been some of the most popular um, parts of the session because we really actually get to hear from, from people themselves, their lived experience, which is, is very helpful for us as professionals. We'll have another break, and then we'll have Dr. Gustafson give another talk about supporting school-aged children at risk, at risk for listening-related fatigue. 